Hello and welcome to the SeaGo 3 temperature calibration tutorial. Our first step is to hook up your SeaGo 3 to the steady grip tool and power on the device. Open the port on your calibration GUI. You'll notice the gimbal board will light up either solid or flashing green. When selecting temperature or race, you'll notice the gimbal board LEDs will change to a light blue after a small delay. This indicates that the gimbal is in temperature calibration mode. Disconnect the camera from the steady grip and prepare the camera to be placed in the freezer. You may use a plastic Ziploc bag to keep the camera contained if needed. Allow the camera to rest in the freezer for about 15 to 20 minutes. Remove the gimbal from the freezer and install the camera lock onto the gimbal. Slide the gimbal lock and camera onto a steady grip that you plan on using in the incubator or oven. We used the toaster oven in this video for demonstration purposes. Using a power supply to make an adapter that goes to the gimbal lead on the back of the camera, leave the power supply off until you place the camera in the oven and everything is level. Make sure you set the voltage to 15.3 volts for the Seco 3. Other cameras require different voltages. Install a small piece of paper or shim to lock the camera down into the steady grip. The camera must be level and cannot move during the calibration process. Place the camera into the preheated oven that is set to its lowest setting, or 30 degrees Celsius, or roughly 130 degrees. In this instance, our oven was set to 150 degrees. Be quick when installing the camera as you do not want the heat to escape. Next, power on the gimbal and verify the gimbal board lights. We have opened the door in this case to get a better view of the lights. When powering on, you should see a blue and red LED start to flash. This starts the calibration process. If you do not see the blue and red LED, restart the camera over and over until these lights turn on. If they do not turn on, restart the calibration process by clearing all the data and putting it back into the freezer. Allow the camera to rest in the oven or incubator for about 20 minutes. When completed, you'll notice the red and blue LED will stop blinking and become solid. Open the oven and power down the power supply. Disconnect the gimbal from the power and remove the camera off the steady grip. Proceed to calibrate the gimbal through the GUI calibration tool. To learn how to do the gimbal calibration, watch the tutorial video on this subject. Thank you for watching this tutorial video on Seago 3 temperature calibrations.